Thank you. So I will uh, start with a very nice meditation about Simhati Radhika yeah. in the verse, in the end of the verse of 89. Yeah. My mind constantly remembers that Sri Radha. Because today, after all this, a lot of Takva Vicha, I had the desire for some Rasa Vicha for meditation on the form. Just a minute. Where is my mind? My mind constantly remembers that Sri Radha. It's a verse from Sangita Madhva or Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur. Anyway, if you don't okay. find it, it's okay, no okay, problem. Okay. I was just reading it. Okay. Just for the listening. Okay, okay. Because I'm it's very, very, very inspiring. I can just read it a bit I got your mosquito spray. I am already close with you. <laughs> it's the end of verse 89. There are two big uh, Sanskrit lines, or one big Sanskrit line. And it's a prayer to the mind. It seems different. Yeah. Uh, mine is 285. Oh, for 89. Huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, 89 okay, okay, and then okay, okay. 90. Okay, okay. I have a thing 99. My mind constantly remembers that Sri Radha who wears a beautiful stripe of Sindura in her part, which is like a path of ambrosial flavor, and who has risen from the ocean of Rishabhanu's dynasty <clears throat> like a beautiful moonbeam. Hearing of Sri Krishna's form and attributes naturally awakens Cupid's aches within her. She wears a most soft fragrant as my garland within her very beautiful braid. Her large lotus eyes defeat the playfulness of the wagtail birds in their restless, intoxicated motions. Her captivating gait is as elegant as that of a love-stricken elephant. And her very tender and sweet body is yellow, like a fresh golden champaka flower. Her tender vine-like arms are decorated with jeweled bangles and armlets. She enchants every young girl with her wonderful and greatly fascinating form. Her gently smiling face defeats the moon and her large and beautiful buttocks that embody an abundance of fresh flavors abound to the sash of the fence. Her fabulous breasts are as beautiful as golden jugs and are covered with an embroidered blouse. Her red lips inside lust within Hari's mind, within with their ambrosial flavors. Her beautiful chin is beautified even more by a very captivating spot of nuts. And her charming nose and her golden jewel studded big nose pearl bears an enchanting luster in radiant beauty. Her body is the essence of the ocean of ambrosial and tasty, brilliant passion. Mohan's bewildered, dear like minds, falls in the nectar well of her even more. Of her navel, the wearing of necklaces, ankle bands, and captivating earrings make her bodily luster even more radiant, and she wears a red dress.
I like this kind of descriptions to go meditate. Meditate on Shimati Radhika's qualities is a good help for myself to go deeper into her beauty, into all her elegance. And I like this one sentence that Baba is stressing here. He says, We enchant every young girl with her wonderful and greatly fascinating form. So I pray that also may enchant myself in my spiritual form. So if we just hear about the qualities of Shimadhi Radhika explained by her Darcy's, who are realized Darcy's, I feel so much blessed. Because my flickering mind is not lost. <laughs> so Shimadhi Radhika is very nice, attracting to the girls, not only to Mohan. She's all attractive, just like Mohan. And she enchants all the girls of Gokula with her beauty, with her nice movements of the eyes, of, the, of her hands, and the way how she talks, how she walks. I sometimes maybe compare it how now in the Sadaka Deha, I'm also attracted to my Guru Dev, how he walks, how he talks, how he smiles. I feel something in his form that is inspiring me to remember how Darcy's behave. So I also think of him as a Radha Darcy, and then I try to uh, get also attracted to that. So when I hear about Shimate Radhika's form, it is very natural for me to also try to become attracted and try to get the mercy of Shimate Radhika in praying. Please, Shimati Radhika, can you also attract me? Attract me so much that my mind and my senses will always be in your circle of attraction. That's why I like to read this, because in the next uh, verse, it's very much about how the sakis are feeling and the mandris are feeling. Verse 90. Hmm? Okay, we continue with verse 90. You want to say something? No. Their female companions drink their nectarian forms and pastimes with their eyes and sing their glories, absorbed in bliss. Nicely, sir, Kishora, Kishori who are unknown to the Vedic rules and who sit on the jewel. Shilavak Chakra, Vishwana Chakra, Guwati Pada's purpose. The bliss of the Sakits. Thank you. After describing the sweetness of Shishi Radha Mohan's love and beauty, Shilatakra Mahashai, now describes the bliss and the rasa, the sakis relish from the sweetness of the divine cup. On a jewel bedstead in the Nukunja Mandira of enchanting Sri Vrindavan, Kishora Kishori, Shirada Mohan are dripping with prema ras, filled with the natural beauty of elegance. Saki surround them in all the four directions. Each of them is a matchless picture of Premara's beauty, sweetness, laughter and humor. From the oceans of Rasa and Prema spill over it is if, as if they play over all the horizons. 
So this is kind of a situation like in Punch. We see there is Radha Mahal and all the girlfriends, the Sakis and also the Matris. This is the setting of this scene. And uh, uh, Radha Mohan are uh, so much in bliss, they are in Prema Ras. Sula <coughs> Vishwanath Chakravati explains. And this Prema Ras is dripping from their hearts, from their limbs, from their smiles, from their movements. And each of them are intoxicated with them, with that. And in all four directions, the Sakis surround them. I imagine sometimes they describe it in the yoga peak meditation of Radha Kund or any yoga peak meeting place that they are uh, like there's this hexagonical, is that the English word hexagonal? Five. It's six, no? Six, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they are they are they are you know on these jeweled platforms. And then Radha Mohan is in the middle and around them is all the Sakis and also the Madris. And the be like eyes of the Sakis drink the wonderful luster of Aniras that drips from the blue in golden lotus of Shri Radha Mohan. You know, so, I need yes. I have a question. So, uh, I don't know if you can give us this. If you could uh, give us some kind of yoga pit meditation. This is yoga pit meditation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not giving anything. Yeah. I'm just repeating. Okay. These are the words of Dara Tonga. Tonga, that's No, you okay. tell me if I'm missing anything. I just try to feel the picture, you know, because mm. all these words, they are the picture. All these words are the feelings. So I try to imagine it according to my limited, you know, capabilities. But please tell me, you must have something in mind. What do you think about yoga? No, 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 I want to hear because, you know, so <laughs> I also, I did not, uh, I did not hear so much from Guru Dev Yoga. But, uh, but at least, uh, no, actually, I want to hear from Suniti. But look at Takachi. He's such a perfect host. Yes, very nice. Yes. But the yoga pit host. Yeah, <laughs> we are the yoga pit. Yoga, like, you know, like a yoga pit, like, you know, Sentai is Radha Mohan. Like, mm. a, you know, not Rasarira, but a little bit similar. Because Sentai is Radha Mohan. And inner circle is very intimate, made servant, like uh, Manjari. Because Manjari, like, you know, now Andakaji is serving us the kind of drinking, you know, little snacks. Mm -hmm. Like, say, mm -hmm. you know, Radha Mohan, you know, need always kind of, you know, small, many other servants. Yeah. Service. Yeah. So this Manjari was registered very, very close. And then, little bit, little bit far is, is uh, Saki. Outside, yeah. And Saki also, some Saki, different Saki is different. Surrounding and uh, say like uh, most intimate psyche is very, very another surrounding, mm -hmm. and then more little bit for psyche is little another surrounding. Like, uh, like I feel like uh, you know, Radha Mohan Center, mm -hmm. as we may say, Nibriti Nikunja. Or, you know, Kundra, Nikundra. Nikundra. we don't know, you know, the, how to explain. I think there are unlimited possibilities. Yeah, you unlimited know? books and case by case. Uh, how, how intimate the leader, you know. So, and then maybe, you know, we Kunja and then Kunja and then, you know, some place. Mm -hmm. so, it's the, it's the, it's the, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what the four corners means. Yeah, 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 yeah. So different corner has different and some, you know, like the entrance of Kuncha, some guard, guardian, they are different direction and this, you know. So like if in Brindaba also, if we see like Gopeshwara Mahadeva has, I think, four, five Mahadeva. Mm -hmm. Different places. Different places. Yeah. The Mahadeva is the kind of, you know, like, I don't know, maybe God, I don't know. If he allow, allow us to enter, enter, yeah. enter, then we can enter this kind of yoga pit. 
you know, it not to, not to, the, not to, uh, Mahadeva, but some, some Manjari or Saki, no, Saki. Saki was like kind of, Yoga yeah, kind of, you know, different direction for, for, you know, and, and anything, you know. Yes. And then watching, and then in the circle is like different degree of love or feeling or seva and different, you know, like kind of surrounding. Like, uh, if we put a uh, stone on the lake, then you know automatically like kind of you know some kind of circle is kind of, yeah beautiful. So this similarly you know the yoga pit center is Rana Moha and then Manjari and then you know Prana Presha Saki or some, you know and then another Saki like uh, interesting you know and then in, in the detail this kind of uh, is here mentioned. I, th I think this is like a general uh, explanation and we can, in our meditation, in our bhajan, with the help of Guru Manjari, there can be uh, like, you know, unlimited expansions yes. of, of how deep can I go, how deep can I die. Yeah, today, today, Guru Dev <laughs> say, you know, how go to deep, actually Suniti asking question, how can we go deep, and uh, in deep. Now I feel, feel you know, to into go deep, we need a sky bar. On this sky bar, we can go deep, because if we go, if we are sanctuary, okay, I can go this place, you know, I can go Lada, I can go Krish Moha, you know, another Saki, and then. Then we can, our, I say, our direction does not to fix it. Then we cannot go deep. No. But if we fix it and then more, more meditate, then we can go kind of penetrate this kind of uh, yoga pit uh, inside or, you know, nikunja or maybe nigrita nikunja. So this is uh, up to our but it's our feeling, also our our concentration and uh, our realization. So if we go deep, our realization become go deep. If we sanctuary our real, realization, there are some realization there, but uh, not too deep. Yeah, because I also ask if you remember that what is the obstacle? What is the thing that blocks us from going deep or me? Is it an obstacle or is it maybe lack of patience? Do I just have to wait and pray more? Do I have to, you know, be more humble? And he said obstacles. So these obstacles, like you say, they are the deviations of the mind, of the old ego and many things. And like you said nicely, the Gopeshwar Mahadev is taking them away. And we know also Ananda Mantra is doing this. So we are lucky. We were just discussing. We get so many uh, chastisements lately. Who are they just going like a dentist into the deep holes, you know, yeah, drilling, <laughs> drilling, you know? And we're like, but you know, that is fine. only that will help us to go deeper and become more fixed and become more surrendered and get out of the obstacle uh, consciousness. And also, you know, this noon time. I was serving Prasad and later on I talked with a few devotees. Then a few devotees tell me, it is, you know, ordinary conversation, but uh, it touched one you know, conversation. You know, Chanakya Pandi to say, if we have patience, we can, we can have all success. Oh my God, this is also very, very great word, you know, because Sometimes we do, we practice bhakti, but sometimes some obstacle come, some difficulty come, then we are sometimes become impatient. Yeah. You know, oh, good day, be have like this, oh, I don't like be good day, oh, you know, this person I don't like, oh, may I quit, you know, like, you know. Bring up, like you know, bring up, many people say, bring up and the beautiful place, but I can, but not beautiful, very dirty place, okay, I don't want to come again. You know, many, many people, yeah, you course. know, thinking like this, but if we patient, then, you know, slowly, slowly, this obstacle also clear. And then, you know, we can go deep. But if we 
impatient. Like I say, we want to dive, but sometimes very, you know, our, what do you say, if without any, what do you say, you know, uh, like a strong, yeah, snorkel, snorkel. <laughs> and the, oxygen. Yeah, oxygen. Oxygen supply, yeah. Yeah, oxygen supply. Then, you know, we cannot go deep, but someone who is very, you know, some ability without oxygen, you know, they go very deep. But sometimes we say, oh, no, no, too much, you know, for me. And then we have to again come back. So this kind of a, a patient, or one devotee told me, you know, Chanakya said, patient, if you have patient, you can get all success. My mom, this is our, yeah, our sadaka practice also. <laughs> we yeah, live. All, all our lives, yeah, we can all. apply it. Because, yeah, the nature, my nature is to be impatient. My nature is to be, you know, demanding because this is a human condition. But the mandri nature, to come really into that deep feelings, it's very humble and very uh, non-demanding. So I I feel that what you say is very important. Because yeah. also when we are in Vrindavan, even the talks at the Pashadam table become like an udi palm. <laughs> sure, sure. And then... Uh, so, Prasada, we are talking also Prasada. Uh, I forgot. This, we don't sometimes, we don't realize what that means, Prasada. We just eating, oh, this is very tasty. You know? Yeah, yeah, we are like, oh consuming. my God, this is, today's Prasada is very nice, you know, then we are taking, but actually, we are taking the, you know, like deep person. service. Yeah, we, we, ha we are doing deep service. Flying kiss. Flying kiss. Because Radha Mohan is touching. And uh, actually, I I did not realize because I came here many, many years, but uh, I did not realize, you know, they offer food and they are mixing in the, in the prasada. prasada. Oh, yeah, it's very important. Yeah, and then, you know, oh, actually, to do because, you know, this is a flying kiss, should be mixing. And even, even, you know, Krishna's pastime, Krishna's leader, Ashtakaya leader, also they do. Manjari is mixing, you know, what Krishna's, you know, Krishna's prasad and mixing some of the food. And then give to Radha, bring to the, you know, Javan. And then Radha, Radha could understand, oh, this, this, this aroma, can, you know, can, you know, must be, you know, more hot. I feel excited when I yeah. smell. Yeah, smelling. And then Radha is excited. Oh, my, oh, this is, a, this is a more hot taking. And then she's taking, okay, you also take, you know, uh, distributing sake and manjari. This is also very good meditation. So for me, Personally, if I feel I want to, you know, connect myself to the Prashad here of, you know, Srila Narottam Das Thakur, in Ananta Das Babaji, and all our Acharyas, Vishwanath Chakravati Pad, and so many, Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati, then this is also giving my heart some impressions that I need. Because these impressions, they create Prashad feelings for me. And with these feelings of them, my heart can become pure. Yes. There otherwise is no other way for me. I can only speak for myself. It's not I am sitting down, I'm chanting, and then I see the yoga heat. No, no. I'm reading this and I'm getting inspired. And then I, I, I digest it. And then this flow comes. So when I hear from all of you, no? like this, I need yeah. always some some rock to be moved first. And actually, we are seeing everyday yoga pit. Because yoga pit is, you know, Radha Mohan. Yes, that is. That is, you know, actually, actually yoga pit. Also, depending on my consciousness. consciousness yeah. Do yeah. I see the yoga pit or do I see the statues? Really, Vrindavan is needed to be so conscious, to become more fine tuning. And then when I go to Gurudev, he's giving also. He's looking at me and he's giving some hints, you know, if this is some navigation needed. 
Yeah, today is also, you know, Uttavaji asking, you know, I want to hear Chaitanya Charita Purita. And then, you know, then Sekuru they say, oh, maybe afternoon or something, you know. Mm. Then and he said, oh, you know, initiation 10, 10 or maybe 10 30, and then I'm listening to you come. Right? Then I came, you know, you know, like at 9 50. Yes. You know, and then, you know, Garant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a candidate, we are God, and then I was Guru Dev, initiation finished. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is very, you know, you very never quick. know the perfect timing in the then and then, you know, then, 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 then we are talking. Uh, you know, you call it Uttara. We can, we can now talk. Chaitanya Charita Mita. Oh, really? You know? Wow. And then I, I found Uttara Sorry, I, 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 I could not do make one call and but someone other, you know, we just limited the person we did with discussing and uh, this is a you know, very it, nice it, feeling it, of sharing the yeah. prasad. Should I continue reading? Sure. So it's a description somehow of a yoga feed of a meeting place and it's about the difference how they feel all together. It's an open meeting place and Radha and Mohan are dripping of Prema Ras, means from all that wars that Prema Ras is coming. And it's explained here how it's touching the Sakis and how it's touching Radha's maidservant. It's very interesting. So each of them is a matchless picture of Prema Ras. Beauty, sweetness, laughter, and humor. Because Radha Mohan are, and they are also their expansions, Radhika's expansions. When the oceans of Rasa and Prema spill over, when Radha and Mohan are like, you know, in their highest or very open, over flooding moods, it is as if they play all over the horizons. So it's like, you know, the energy is like, it's full of them and their mercy. The bee-like eyes of the sakis drink the wonderful luster of the honey rasa that drips from the blue and golden lotus of Shishi Radha Mahan's sweetness and beauty with deep attention. So there's two hints here, the honey rasa. So it's the honey wine situation. Huh? Actually, what do you feel? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, lately I found out the bus in Dadarasa in honey wine. Mm. You know, and then I have read <laughs> I have read another description mm. from you know other literate by the mm. doing. So I <laughs> I compare translation. Mm -hmm. And then little difference was there. So you ask who they or not? No, I did not ask and did not share so okay. far. That so was far. only your own My, research. Yeah, no, no, not research, but because, you know, just you say honey wine. And then what's the difference? Interesting. So, uh, Brinda Devi brought honey wine. That is actually in Sanskrit, Madhurika. Mm. Uh, Mad Madhurika. So, and then, Brinda Devi gave it to this Mohan. Sure. Yeah. She gave first to Mohan? She, she gave Mohan first. Then Mohan gave to Radha. And then, interesting. Radha is like, Radha was like this. Uh, covering a face, yeah, covering the face. Yes. And then like this. Ah, like this. Hidingly drinking. Yeah. And then translation two different ways. Sure. Yeah. This is very interesting, you know. One translation is you know, so I just say one translation is like spelling and then give it to me. Another translation is like this. It's covering because nobody sees. 
-hmm. Secret. And uh, this is like that. Not touching. Not touching. No, no. Touching. Why is not touching? Just smelling. One is smelling and one is And why is touching? A touching translation is Ananda's powers. <laughs> I start thinking, you know, oh my God, this is the same, same bus. Situation. Same situation, but different translation. Then I start meditating. So as Manjari, Manjari is vision. But we like, or oh, hot, but Mohan like. Mohan like Vishmadarika shows test. Yeah. Then it was the right place. And also Manjari also right because Radha's first. Because this is the spirit of you know Radha's position. So but if some some by the bhakti someone has not the favor for Radha, a Krishna center. So I cannot say which one is right, but uh, as manjari, and why covered it? Why covered? Why hiding? Yeah, why hiding? Make it more interesting. Okay. Yeah, and then touch it, and then Mohan give Mohan. Mohan could understand. Then again, Mohan give it to Radha. <laughs> Mohan couldn't say what she's doing, but he made it interesting. But maybe speculate. Or... No, no, but actually, Mohan could understand just touching. Because Radha's, you know, Prasad, you know, Radha's, you know. And then Mohan so excited and Mohan want to give again Radha. Of course, they are also giving messages to each other. Yeah, and then Radhika understand all Mohan says. And then Mohan give to Saki and then, you know, like money. So this is, you know, very interesting. So how? Because Sanskrit is sometimes very difficult to translate. But as you know, its position as Manjari or Radha Adik Sneha Manjari or Bishama Sneha, this Depends. point depends on and maybe translation may be different. Yeah, that's why Gurudev is telling us also today again, he mentioned we are here in Vrindavan to hear, you know, from the Dasi's bath, from Manjari's who are really in Stai bath. And I don't even want to listen to anything else anymore. So that's why my room is so small. <laughs> so you know, so I was thinking, oh my god, so and then this today also we did it with the with Navaji. And this is described, you know, Radharan is a ten uh, kind of feeling feeling. Uh, I forgot that he sounds good anyway. So it describes how Radha feel sometimes feel and then you know Rupa Gosami mentioned sometimes Hadabari, sometimes Hansa Duta, sometimes Saki Vishaka is saying, sometimes Larita is saying. And then Buddha also Buddha was saying. Different, different uh, because, perspectives yeah. Aspect of the different servants of in their relationships. Yeah, but uh, as Manjari, you know, that yesterday we have learned, I feel a little bit weirdness because as Manjari, you know, this is kind of many kind of Saki. Saki Baba is, with, you know, kind of mixing. Mm. So, uh, so like before I could not feel anything, but at this time, you know, oh my God, this is maybe not good to, not good to hear, you know, as Manjari's perspective, or if I more fix, I can, you know, I can more kind of feel, yeah, feel, but, uh, you know, oh my God, this is like Saki Baba. And then we are asking them, yeah, to do. That's also our good fortune. Why we are here with school days, listening together, sharing, and learning together. <laughs> yeah. This fine uh, tuning fine is tuning. coming, and also our egos are throwing out because Gurudev wants that from us who are here now, and he's giving it to us also. 
And that is a, a big blessing in disguise. And also Gurudev, I told Gurudev, yeah, Gurudev, before I could not understand, but, uh, you know, even Chaitanya Charitamrita, so many Baba is missing. You know, it, you know, even we are leading Chaitanya Charita, we cannot to fix ourselves. We cannot be stunned. Uh -huh. So now I understand why you mentioned this uh, Virapaka Smajari and Dandara Sasana to fix it, you know. Because even Chaitanya Charitamrita, you know, then Uttava is asking, hey, you know, this Krishna's Kaviraj writing, right? He's like, a, he's Manjari, you know, the kind of... What kind of yeah, love he has? You know, you know, say, yeah, I know, he's disciple of Raghunath Das Goswami. Like, disciple of Raghunath Das Goswami. He's like a Manjari, eight, eight Manjaris, you know, one of eight Manjari. So, and then he's, you know, that was just more confusing. Really? Why he, you know, why he, uh, you know, mentioned like so many missing, so much Baba? You know, so that was asking, then Guru Dev, no, this is, uh, he want to write the reality of Mahaprabhu. Because Mahaprabhu Baba is not the one. No. Experience. He was surrounded by many different many yeah. different you know, devotees, different situations. Sometimes, you know, Chaitanya will become like Krishna. Sometimes, you know, of course, the main Baba is Radha Baba. Sometimes he explained like Saki Baba, sometimes Manjari Baba. So if we want to describe, if we want someone who wants to describe Mahaprabhu's, you know, charita activities and feeling. And, you know, if we write the reality, then automatically so many Baba is, is, you know, is mixing. That's true. And everyone will also feel it according to their own relationship yeah. to Chaitanya Baba. Even, even Govinda Gilamrita also. If we read, then we confuse. If, uh, if we are not fixing it, we may confuse. But, mm, uh, but uh, we are not in sky. Yeah, if we are not in sky, we are we are we make confused because before I don't understand, you know, I can be you know go with the dinamita is no problem. What's problem? You know, before I was thinking a little bit like this, just to feel it. What you is know, going on? you know, but uh, now I understand. And one day, some devotee asking Gora Govinda Swami Maharaj. And that he was present, maybe 90, I don't know, 94 or 5. And then one devote, my, my friend asking to go to Govinda Sarvanabha. And Maharaj, I'm reading Govinda Sarvanabha. And then... What go, did he say? And then his reaction is very funny. Oh, it's too high, you know. You are reading Govinda Sarvanabha. That book is too high. Like something like that. And that devotee was completely shocked, you know. My God, this uh, Guru Dev saying, this is very high. You know, because he did not say, you should not read this book. But uh, politely he said, oh, you know, this book is very high. So good. Yes. You know, like this. And then the devotee was shocking, you know, oh, my God, this book. And then this devotee could not understand, even also I don't understand, but now slowly I understood. You know? Because if we lead, we don't fix the rupa, then we become sanctuary. You know, some, oh, this Saki Baba is very nice. Sometimes, you know, oh, Manjari Baba is nice. Because um, for the soul, this amorous relationship is most touching heart because it's most exciting so much strong feelings inside but conditioned soul your love is to, is, uh, yeah, to, do, to enjoy and, and also saki baba and manjari baba mix it is more is 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 you know better but uh, sometimes we thinking oh you know i can enjoy like uh, you know like uh, Brada Boha. that kind of if we are contaminated some kind of you know it maybe you know we don't think too much but the uh, slight feeling it just happens you know yeah it's when you when you read it you feel yeah that is that is <laughs> that is our problem so it's therefore, not, not a problem but it's only a lack of 
maturity and yeah, yeah. you know feelings of stuff. But, but also at the same time, you can never say if we hear like source means you know from Rashika Vaishnava, this cure our heart to be <laughs> Yes, that's why I'm reading this, you yeah. know, because I know I have not the qualification to go into that deep meditation by myself alone, so to say, in the darkness of my ego, of my mind, but by the mercy of the prashad of Vishwana Chakravati Thakur, Anandadas Babaji, and also uh, our Naratom Das Thakur, they are describing here what they have experienced, so I can take their remnants, and I hope that I will be purified, inspired, you know, I get all these positive vibrations of their arts. And for me, I must say, this is personally the most inspiring process in Bhakti. It's hearing, it's remembering. Yeah, because, you know, reading kind of, you know, this process, we are hearing from Suniti Didi. So Suniti Didi is, uh, is reading. And then this reading is not the only reading. Actually, we are associating with, you know, Narottama Das Thakur Mahasaya, also Anandas, you know, Anandas Baj Maharaj, sometimes Vishwara Chakrabati Thakur, as Acharyas. So that feeling may enter into our heart. So, and then, especially uh, among the Rashika Vaishnavas you know, association, it affects more, more intense. And plus, Gurudev is giving us this chance to meet together and share, and also he's listening and he's correcting us, he's guiding. And that I also, I appreciate very much because otherwise uh, I feel more lost in my own mental or whatever perceptions that I cannot say what is right and what is wrong. But having this personal like guidance, it's very, uh, I feel it's a privilege. Yes. And also, you know, if because sometimes by myself is limitation, mm -hmm. but uh, as a devotee, it, also you know, yeah. And if we I hear from other devotees' perspective, you know, and uh, other devotees' kind of feeling, mm -hmm. then I could do more go deep. That's I'm yeah. every day I'm feeling, you know. Because sometimes, you know, I, I think like this, but oh, actually, no, this devotee is more higher than I. So I can go more deep. That's yes, kind of, and I know. get also some guidance, I get yeah. some inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. And today we are in a very, uh, uh, like, intimate circle. Is there anybody else? Oh, oh my, yeah. God, my God, sorry. <laughs> Radhe, yes. Radhe, all. <laughs> Can we? Could we maybe talk about the, the Ananda of the special kind of bliss at the start of this? Yes, or, let's read it again if you agree. So the oh, you have a question? Yeah, yeah no, I just formulate my question on that one. Okay, okay. <laughs> there, the, the verse talks about the, the bliss that the that the Kishore Kishori are, are feeling, of course, they're together and, they're, and, they're, and their love and they're emanating it, and the Sachi the Sachis are really, really receiving that, I suppose. Yeah. What is the nature of that bliss and how does that compare to the bliss that the monster is Actually, that's yeah. coming. It's coming now. Please. Can I can I read this? How it you are the, the boss here. <laughs> so no, I'm just a servant of the words here. So the bee-like eyes of the Sakis drink the wonderful luster of honey rasa that drips from the blue and golden lotus of Shishi Radha Mohan's sweetness and beauty with deep attachment, with sweet voices, the Sakis sing the honey-sweet erotic pastimes of the divine couple. In this way, they are immersed in paramount bliss as they swim in the Rasa ocean of the Yugala's form, attributes, and pastimes. See, this is Samasneya now. These Sakis, they are enjoying and serving the Yugala ocean. They are having the same feelings to Radha and to Mohan, and they are also singing their pastimes, and they are, you know, very, very deeply immersed in paramountness. They are together, the Yugala Kishore, and we are also, you know, 
reflecting this love in ourselves. So then comes Radha's maid servants are also a kind of sakis. Though they also constantly swim in the inexhaustible rasa waterfall of Yugala sweetness, they are also engaged in the devotional service of the Yugala and their sakis. First thing, they are also relishing, but they are in service of Radha Moha and in service of the sakis at the same time. They do not forget their service due to being absorbed in relishing their sweetness. But they're primarily in the service of Radha. It's of course. The maid servants. They're but of course, in. when they are together, Radha and Moha, they serve the most together. But their focus is on Radharani's feelings that we have heard so many times. But I think the quality, and you might correct me, what is uh, expressed here in this commentary is that they are not carried away by their bliss. They do the service of, of Radha Mohan, and they even do the service of the Sakis. And at the same time, they are also having feelings, but they never lose themselves in these feelings because their service is selfless and they are engaged in service and at the same time immersed in the sweet rasa of the Jugala Kishore. This makes them more special than the Sakis. That is what Baba is explaining here, the speciality of the Sakis of Radha. They are not only seer, they are kind of uh, servant, a personal servant, and also, also same time ladies. Yeah, they are Sama Sneha, uh, I mean, they are Adik, Radha Adik Sneha, they are focused on Shimadhi Radhika's feelings first, but because the Sakis are also their uh, higher elder sisters or, or, or authorities or whatever word we should say, yeah, Higher. the Sakis are older, yeah. yeah. Shata, Lalita. Yeah, because they are youth situation. They are also having... They are older, but more... I mean, for us, the Mantris are more meaningful. Oh, sure. They've said this morning even that just we want to, we want to associate only with Mantris. Yeah, to get this type bath. But in general, we cannot avoid that we also serve the Sakis. One time Guru was sitting there in the in the basement and I remember exactly he was completely in his Thai bath and he said, What can I do? I am just sudden of my radha and also of my bigger sons. So that is also there. He told us many times he told Manjari, Kinka, they serve everyone. Sakis, Gopis, everyone who is close to Radha. Yeah. So, oh, the guys of all. Oh, of course, they always remember who is my boss. But because they won't make your credit, they serve everyone. Yeah. Coming yeah. Just like when Guru gets guests, no? Yes. And there's 20 people. And then he's sending us, get this, get the sweets, like, get the drink, you know. We never forget that we are the servants of Guru, but he is sending us to make everyone happy. That's how I feel as is in this situation. And uh, sometimes Saki orders, like say, we are under Radhika Saki. So, you know, you do this, you do that. Mm. Sometimes Radhika Saki directly order us, or sometimes, you know, under the Rupa Manjari, you know, you do this, you mm. do that. But it sounds very, very little like Stai about this. No, but you know. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, sorry for interrupting you, because you were reading it yesterday, if I may say. He also was in this path that he was tinkering, ne? and then he saw Radha and Moha going to the cave, ne? and then he said, one Saki ordered me to pluck pelvis. This is sometimes Christmas. Yes, Chaitanya 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 so yesterday we are leaving, but we could not uh, approach, we cannot go in this bus because we stopped in the, in the middle. Of course, it was afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I think it's not the service. We are all, you know, they are all serving each other in a way. But not equally. But the small, no, not equally. No. According to Srimati Radhika's desire and the need of the situation, that's why Gurudev, but I felt in that moment when he said, I'm just a small, you know, Dasi, <laughs> and I'm under the control of, of, of my bigger Sakis also. <laughs> I yeah. thought, oh wow. So therefore, if we if we are kind of see we are not humble, then we are not mandatory. Because in, in spiritual world, like mandatory is like lowest one sense. Yes. Yeah, yes. Saki is more higher. Yes. They are older. Also. Older. Than. We discussed this. But how I was seeing how I is this uh psychiatry. No, um, no, most, no, most, each of oh, second. Uh, they say that no, no, most, so second. I will relish, always relish, and keep the so I don't want to be this of the first 16 of Vilap Kushmanjali that Dada Charan is mentioning. I will thank you for the offer, my dear Shimati Radhika, that you offer me the you know, your, your friendship, but I will keep it on my head. But I always want to be a small Darcy and I worship the Sakis as my elderly uh, copies or you know, higher uh, older friends. Yes, I find this quite confusing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can ask, we can ask again when we go to Gurudev. She's just saying that. Uh, Radhi Gurudev, are Gurudev. you there? Gurudev is there. He's there, but. <laughs> Radhe. Jai Gurudev. Jai Radhe. Can you ask your question, Dr. Gurudev, I'm asking about uh, the Stai Bhav and the fixing on Manjari, and on Manjari Bhav. How can we do this and serve Sakis at the same time? Manjari Bhav, when you fix, then we have to stay in that bhav. Manjari bhav. Ma and serve everyone. You no need to change anything. No changing is a thai bhav. One man. No changing is a thai bhav. Changing is sanchari bhav. <laughs> Changing of the situation? Oh. Of course, yes, this is clear, this is clear. So, but when like we, we are in the body, we never change our bhav. We all want to enjoy my body, senses and mind, you know? So similarly, when we are manjari, we live in that. What others do, don't bother. We will not shake myself. We will see everything from my my position. That is a thai. Yes. That is fixed nature. This is clear. Very simple. Very clear. And that Very to practice. That to practice. Only one time I think not working. No. That has to be practiced with the past time. The question is for how to practice Manjari Bhav. And Listening question. and when there are different, different Bhav, how much you be fixed in that Bhav? He's not testing what is the right, Mahajan right, to test where you're moving or not moving. Why we say to live in past time? Because we can see by the, my behavior, how we are moving fast or not moving fast. Yeah, that had to watch you. Yeah. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you. Thank you. So Radha's maid servant are also a kind of suckings.
though they also constantly swim in the inexhaustible rasa waterfall of the yugala sweetness. They are also engaged in the devotional service of the yugala and their studies. They do not forget their service due to being absorbed in relishing their sweetness. They are engaged in service and at the same time <coughs> immersed in the sweet rasa of the Sri Yugala, means Sri Matiraika, and her book. And this makes them more special than the Sakis. This is clearly perceived in Srila Thakur Mahashoy's Pratanapad, where he is expressing his uh, feelings in the song about his sons. I will make a bed of red lotus petals and seat Kishora and Kishori on that. Their enchanting lotus-like faces are covered with the curly locks. Sham resembles an emerald in gory strata a gold. Now praying to Shimak and Adhika. Praneshwari, when will I get your merciful glance? When will I, on your order, bring different kind of flowers and hear your sweet words? I will decorate you with mask pilak and the stripe of Sindura. I will anoint you with fragrant sandalwood palm. And I will string a garland of malati flowers that will make the bumblebees run towards it. <clears throat> when will Lalita give me a fan with which I can softly fan them, drying up the sweat drops from their bodies? I will see all of this in topmost ecstasy. Naratam Das hopes that he can drink the sweet beverage of service to hello the sweet. So these are Naratam Das Thakur's direct prayers, very inspiring how he is expressing his feelings or she. But alas, I see no signs that such a blessed day is going to come when I see, when I can see. When can I see these two with my own eyes? In this prayerful song, we can clearly see how the sweetness of the divine pair is relished by the mantras while they are rendering songs. The Yugala Bhajan of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas consists of allegiance to these main servants of Radha, defining their status of Radha's main servant, Shimati Prabodhananda Saraswati, has written. Oh, and I want to add here, this situation, what we have here on this hexagonal, you know, staircase, maybe on Radha Kund or wherever, it is like a kunj situation. Means kunj, there's the sakis, there's many, many different kinds of sakis, and the mandris are serving Radhika and her Mahan and also maybe serving anything that Radhika wants them to serve to the Sakis. But then we have also the Nikunja circumstances where they are more close, where there's not so many others around, and we have the Nivrit Nikunja circumstances. So there are these three circumstances, and Gurudev is explaining them like, the kunja is like the office where everyone can come. Everyone can come and dance and sing and express their love to Yuga Lakishur, to Shiman, Radhika, and her beloved. And then in the Nikunj it is already more closer, smaller. And then in Nivriti Nikunj is only Radha Mohan, Shimati Radhika, and her mantras. Can you explain in this line the Yugala Bhajana of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas 
consists of allegiance to the main servants of Ram. So they're, they're, they're following. The Yuga Lavasana is following um, the main servants. Of yes. The yes. It is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he came because he was Krishna in that mood. He wants to taste Radhika's love and also he wants to taste even the love of the Kinkaris. And as by effect, side effect, he gave it to the whole world to empty out the universe, to take all souls back to that Vrindavan mood. No, but they are loyal. I mean, that's like that's the allegiance. Allegiance means, yeah, following. Following, yes. Following and uh, footsteps, following of the maid servants. But Gurudev also recently he mentioned to me, we have the we have the Gaudiya Vaishnava allegiance, but also the soul has a free choice. He says, once we come to soul consciousness, we can choose in which bath I want to serve, in a way. But of course, for us, for myself, there's no question. Because I'm completely a mercy case, I just need the, the mercy of Nitai Murang, you know, of their, what they are giving for us is this path of being a paid servant of Shrimati Radhika. And why am I here? I am in Vrindavan, I am in the kingdom of Shrimati Radhika's love. Yeah. <laughs> A few days ago, we are just uh, hearing, you know, some guru is uh, Saka Baba. But uh, following, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu. But uh, actually, if really we, we want to follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and uh, why Mahaprabhu came to, what kind of rasa he want to give us, then, you know, this is... Uh, this is a, a different question. Yeah, right? different question. I mean, freedom of will and the freedom of, you know, desire is always is always there for every second. Yes. <laughs> so, interesting, you know, some people say, oh, I'm following Rupa Gosami, we are Rupa Nuga. But, uh, but the practicing the different Baba is a little, you know, Oh, so no. <laughs> I mean, I studied all the same Yeah, but uh, they doing the is a <laughs> So I think the reason why Guru is doing it is that he wants to make us so fixed in this. One pointedness of Shimadhi Radhika's service that even if there's any more other desires or any more other, you know, obstacles, he will, he will guide us there. Like a Guru that's very straight of what, <coughs> like I said, Rupa Nuga means this, you know, Baba Uras. Yes. It's very, very simple. And Rupa Nuga means Mandari Baba. Only no other problem. That's what's that's what I was referring to. Exactly that. Yeah. But of course, you know, we don't want to, you know, you know. So good day to very straight. We respect all my yeah, we respect all my <laughs> um Narada Samaraj spoke or said it's possible to read in book uh Gorani Prakshari his conclusion about Shri Prabhupada was being Rupa Nuga. Why Shri Prabhupada is Rupa Nuga? His death is mean Manjari Baba. And the uh, person who is in this Baba, he is going to serve Shri Radhika. He, he is taught in Radha Kunda in the middle of the day session. <coughs> so, um, your question is so much answered. Oh, not really. <laughs> this uh, this <laughs> is uh, really. also a matter of. Um, it's a lifelong question. It's a it's a bhajan and mercy and <clears throat> yeah and you know we can always get some more 
depth in our bhajan in association with all Vaishnavas, Gumudi. I once got a question and I asked many devotees, and they gave nice answers. This quotation is Praman, means proofs. I could not receive an affection. I was still like I was pushed until once I read the book of Gurvinga Sai Maharaj. Yes. This is my answer. It's not other, other Praman, other ideas. This is my answer. But it, it, it seems to, it seems right, and it seems very natural to me that the very top priority should be the monthly bar. And that means focusing, fixing directly on the service of Radharani. But then we're saying here, yes, fix completely on Radharani, but also fix on Fabrics. Also fix on these and that. No, no. It sounds like it's disruptive for time, but no, no, no. It's not fixed on um, on um, um, Sakis. No, it's completely fixed to Shimadilanika. It's by your desire, your order. This service. We are still fixing on your desire. When Manjari sends, for example, the shakas, for example, she's thinking about how Shimadilanika want to satisfy the shakas. In this is. Desire this attention of Shimadika Majari Sir. Not in, in her um, heart, not she not fixed um, on the But that's that's the case then the Radharani is in, in the service of the Sakis, which is um, upside down. You know, because sometimes that Radhika desire to please Saki. Because Saki also helping you know, Radharani sometimes. Radharani serves. It's not only interested in pleasing Krishna. No, it's not. A no, but that's why we should take all of them. Recently, we read one verse no. where it's written on Shmati Radhika. See, in Chitan Chitana, it's Gauravani. But she's receiving 10 million times more pleasure when she's selling her Saki to Krishna. It's also amazing, yes. It's beyond duality. Because she becomes all of them to please him. And she will not neglect them, and she's not envious of them also, although sometimes she's using the situation to make some money, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to create some you know excitement. And this is also the pleasure, the pleasure of, of Moha. So that is maybe beyond also the intellect of the human mind. Yeah. I also sometimes get some you know in there and in there. But this, I think, will be clarified by Gurudev's mercy that we find that, yeah, I'm, I'm serving Shrimati Radhika, and if she wants me to serve her other, you know, expansions, let's speak now in Chakra Vichar, which will also do that. Like I said, we want to serve Gurudev, but the Gurudev wants to serve some other devotee. Hey. Hey, Jayananda, you help this devotee. You know, he's sick, you know, you should bring something. You know, but externally, you know, people think, oh, Jayananda is having this devotee. No, but actually, Gurudev's order, or, or how to please Gurudev's devotee. Mm -hmm. You know, like similarly, so Madre sometimes serving Saki. Why is that? Because Lada won't ask to do this. That's a very nice example. <coughs> Yeah, sometimes we are yeah. tested like this also. Yeah. Yeah, because when I'm only, you know, Gurudev, 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 and Gurudev is sending me to serve some other Vaishnavas, do I still have the right attitude or do I try to, you know, to avoid this? One sports, one situation. His name, Krishna Das. It, it's it's written in Shan Shaitan that he served all Mahaprabhu's servant, all Mahaprabhu's Prashadas. They tried trying to take away Chirinamrita. Oh. And at the end he came to Mahaprabhu, but he is sick and took Chirinamrita. Mahaprabhu was not allowed to do anyone, but he allowed to him because he was so sincere before he came to Mahaprabhu, he served all his Prashadas. Mahaprabhu knows it. No duplicity. Sometimes duplicity comes in this way. Oh, I'm the servant of my guru. And not your servant, and not your servant. I serve my guru. Yeah. And same, we can apply this situation to Shmati Radhika. If I'm serving Shmati Radhika, means I will serve everyone who is dear to her. 
Every theme of this dear to go, even few such bells. What to say about Ishaka or Lalita? Yeah, true. So, therefore, if there is someone who is still Thai Baba, he can serve everybody. Like he can friendly to everybody. He wants to be ready to serve any, anybody. Because, because no discrimination, you know, who is, you know, like who is who. All the things. Like say, Paramahansa seeing all the servant of Brother Rani. If ordinary people, Paramahansa say, oh, this is Radha Nashi. No, he is Radha Nashi. She is Radha Nashi. This vision is there. So he wants to serve everybody, or any animal. Yes. Like Krishna today go past me. So, you know, Gurudev is saying, why are we serving a you know, cow? Why are we are serving? What, what the purpose? Then Gurudev said, no, actually serving Serving cow, if we love cow or if love animals, also love animal to understand and feel it. But the good to animal may not feel it or you know appreciate it. But animal also could feel love. And Krishna is so appreciating you know cow or animals. So therefore, animal deer in Vrindava, if Krishna goes, all animals coming, like a deer, cow. And one day, one day, uh, Nanda Baba asking Krishna, hey, hey, Gopal, please wear shoes. I don't like you are barefoot. Then, then Krishna said, it's okay, but the, uh, but the uh, father, please give all cow shoes. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm servant, I'm servant to cow. Oh. Why servant wear shoes? I'm serving cow, but the cow has no shoes and servant wear shoes. It's not good. Please provide all cow shoes. Then I can wear, like, you know, Krishna said. So how Krishna can <laughs> cow or animals at that? This is, uh, this is kind of, I'm feeling like a gopastami, like, a, you know, we, we, we want to give love to animals. We want to serve all living entity. This comes from, you know, Vladika and also Krishna. And today, I think Krishna give first, first day to take care of karma. Yeah. Because Nanda Baba said, oh, you, you become now getting, big old, boy. yeah, big boy. Now you should start taking calf, maybe calf, maybe. Yeah, and, and calf, yeah, calf, you know, and then, yes, 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 you know, and then Krishna start taking care of And I like this picture yesterday, you saw everyone was dressed up mm -hmm. with a turban and they had some dots and they look very happy because for the mantra is also, it's a very happy day because this is the first time when Shimadhi Radhika and her girlfriends they also dress as Gopas because they also want to meet him. Ah. So many, many kinds of, of Leelas can take place in that kind of bath because they are happy that he comes out. You know, he comes in the forest and they can meet. And also that means if Krishna bigger, I don't know how, how old they is, but uh, that means, that means Krishna go along Krishna could meet with Radharan. I have read one nice story. And uh, before meeting Radha, Purvara, mm -hmm. you know, one day Krishna, Krishna was kind of seeking Radha and always crying, could not sleep. His eyes become red. red. So morning time, Maya Shoda came. Hey, Gopara, what they doing? You know, why you eyes red? You, maybe you swim in Yamuna too much. Therefore, Yamuna water hurt you. And, you know, still he's like a little bit crying. And then what to do? And, you know, and then, you know, Kundarata? You know, Kundarata kind of, uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, like, uh, not to, like cousin sister or something. 
So, you know, hey, Kundalata, you know how to solve this problem. And then, you know, Kundalata said, Yeah, my <laughs> so, you know, she crying for, you know, some, 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 maybe some, you know, lady, she become getting old enough, you know, maybe better to get, you know, some arrangement of marriage. <laughs> And, you know, Kundala said like this, and actually reality, but, uh, you know, Mata is laughing. You know, my copal is still taking my breast milk, you know. Mm -hmm. What are you two talking about? Are you puggled? Yeah, are you puggled? You're, you're so, you know, you're so joking. Here, someone who's taking breast milk, how can, she, you know, how can he get married? <laughs> you know, my answer is so like this, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, everyone laughing, but... Uh, Kind of, you know, <laughs> according to our rasa. So, uh, getting become old enough means oh, he can meet Gopi, he can meet Radharani. <laughs> so, it, it, of course, age is not mature, but some desire coming. Like a Kaishora age was kind of approached. Oh, yeah, coming. Coming. So, this Gopastami is kind of, you know, starting this kind of, you know, starting this kind of, of course, not Kaishora, but the desire is coming. And uh, desire to go take care of cow means the desire to meet Radhika mm. is, is, is developing. This is very interesting. Sini did inspire me. <laughs> yeah, because Gopashtami was yesterday and uh, so many nice feelings come. How Krishna is serving the cows and actually they are all serving Lugana. They are serving Radha Mahan's Madhurya Leela. And everything is, you know, connected in Braj. It's not, it's a different path sometimes to see Mother Yashoda, but it's all in the service of Radha Mohan's meeting, the gopis are arranging everything. And the feelings are, you know, according to our services. Yeah, like we describe yoga bit. You know, at centers they say nibrita nikunja or nikunja. But all circuses, you know, and uh, you know, manjari, staki, uh, you know, and gopis, and then many kind of rasa is there. Mm -hmm. Different, different, different uh, you know, bhakta rasa is quite far, or you know, sakya basa is maybe, I don't know, far or maybe near, it, it depends on the person. Like, uh, you know, Subar or Madhumangara, they are quite near. Some, some other Saka is a little far. Or a servant, you know, like a Raktaka, etc., they are a little more far. Or animal also depends on what kind of animal. Like, uh, sometimes bird could see the intimate part time, like a Shuka, you know, and, uh, but, uh, the, Many animals also stay far away from Moha. So, in a kind of, you know, center is like yoga pit, and then slowly the circle is like kind of expand. Lhasa also kind of expanding according to, you know, the direction. <laughs> this is very interesting. Okay. So we have a wonderful subject, and I want to ask all the listeners, would you like to share anything? We are so happy that you're coming with your ears and your hearts, and uh, you would like to share something, please. That's something different. Wow. Uh, yesterday, uh, the next way in the question. Shimati Radhika, uh, Shimati Radhika, she's thinking, oh, why I not take off at Gopa? Krishna mm, yes. is spending so many houses every day with cows. Yeah. If I will be Gopa, I can do this him and that is my his desires. But now I couldn't do this him. And due to this, he become Balaram. And Shosakis becomes Krishna's friend. Mm. And what about Manjari, who is certain hours? Rakta Patra is younger cover boys. They is who is senior cover boys. Next, Manjari, 
what can be? I don't know. I not heard this. It just it's my it's my. I, I think in Lakers it was smooth. They can like be like uh, slow cowboys who is certain like for the Mangal, Subal, Jwal, Stoka Krishna. Like this. That's also very it's, sweet. It, of it was my meditation. I did this. When, when you put your, your yeah. turban. I will do this my hand in this way. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The example of Gurudev always telling how Antaranga Shakti becomes Vahiranga. Mm. That feeling that Shimati Radhika, she is taking the moods of all the Rasas also. So uh, yeah, please. actually it's true, you know. So Radhika wants to serve different ways. So Radhika expand Ananda Manjari, Radhika expand Balaram, act, uh, you know, and then Radhika expand Saki and also Manjari. So this is a uh, this is completely inconceivable, you know, a teacher actually. And like a material grain, we don't understand. It cannot contain, Chakutu, uh, you know. the container is very limited. Like I said, Guru Dev said, Nita is, you know, Bahiranga, Nita is Ananga, Nita is everywhere, and this is also ordinary person, it cannot understand. We also did not understand. But yes, we pray for the day when it will be revealed. Now we are speaking about it, why? To be become purified, to do a service, and also to, you know, try to please Gurudev that he can also feel, oh, where is this disciple, where we have to, you know, learn more, where we have to be more style, where we have to be more, you know, how do you say, clean, you know, cleanse. But in the end, I feel, maybe this is my speculation, there will be a day, where hopefully mercy will be so strong and my heart will be very, you know, purified that it will be revealed. Because then there's no more question. And then it becomes natural, praying and, and hoping for this day. But yes, Gurudev always says, and also our Chayas say, the Tattva Vicha, the knowledge of the scriptural truth is some uh, foundation. But if you have a house and you live only in the foundation, then it's very like unnatural. But the rasa vicha, the feelings and the relationships that develop on the platform of that, these are the windows to look into relationships and to develop our feeling of service and where we belong in that house of Shri Radhika's mercy of Radha Mohan's in a home which is sprint up. And also now, Sriti Didi inspired me. So if we mixing Tattva Vicha and Rasa Vicha, this is Jnana Mishra Bhakti. Mm. But if only we see Rasa Tattva, especially we only see Manjari point of view, that is Sri Bhakti. So why sometimes Guru Dev say, oh, you are Jnana Mishra Bhakti, hey. That, that means, we are missing the Tattva Vichar and uh, Rasa Vichar. So, but uh, slowly, slowly, you have to beyond Tattva Vichar to Rasa Vichar because Tattva Vichar means we have to see the supremacy of Krishna. Like, we are like Aishwara mood, we have to see. We vision should be Aishwara mood if we see Tattva Vichar. Mm. But Manjari is, so is not at all any relationship with Tattva Vichar. Only feeling, only rasa vichara. So pure Naga Nuga Bhakti is rasa vichara. Pure Rupa Nuga Bhakti is only rasa vichara. Especially this one point, this is Manjari, Kinkari Brahma. Mm. That's really chair is painful for Manjari because from point of thought, that one, Krishna is the image. For Manjari, it's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and also, it's painful for Krishna that his beloved Shmadrenka disappeared. From her position. And mother and sugar disappeared, father disappeared, because from that region, no father, no mother for Krishna. He is the source, he is mother and father. Yeah, he, is, he, is he is supreme. But Krishna does, does no, not like Krishna doesn't like this position. Mm -hmm. Krishna needs love. He is bigger of love. So therefore, you know, Rasa Vichara is because in Buraja only Rasa Vichara. Vichara means analyzing. 
point of view from and it means, means only see lasta only only feel only love only no, Dhaka. This is, I think, Buraja. But outside Buraja, it's mixing. This, especially like Mathura, may, maybe half and half, Dwaraka, maybe, you know, three fourths and one fourth. You know, some, and Baikunta is, is, is Aishwarya. Like, uh, you know, graduation, but here, Yoga Maya protecting only Purobu, Purobu Rasa. Oh, thank you so much. Beautiful. I feel uh, very much thankful for all your sharings and all your expressions and that beautiful verse from Chilamara Parahastako. In this situation where they are all dancing together, how to feel them, how to see our or my position, what is my service, I am the servant of the servant of the Dasis, Anu Dasis, and praying to Gurudev that you will enlighten us more and more, Gurudev, that this will come in our hearts as a firm feeling of imprint mm -hmm. in our services to Shimate Radhika and all of her Dasis. 